SAPIN is a group of uh, individuals, organizations coming together with a shared dream of a peaceful and just South Asia, hoping to take forward the ideals of peace, justice, and democracy in the region. We believe that that what binds us, that what uh, brings us closer together is so much more than that, what can ever divide us. So we, uh, with that hope and with that dream, uh, we'll proceed. The, I'll just give you a brief of the agenda and the event flow. So we'll begin with reading the Sapan Charter, followed by a, an in-memoriam presentation to commemorate the lives lost in the past year and all those whose vision we're taking forward, followed by a human rights presentation, after which uh, we'll uh, invite Krishi Kabir to present introductor. This human rights presentation will be presented by Sarita, uh, followed by Krishi Kabir, who will set the context for the roundtable discussion and present introductory remarks that will be followed by a round table, a youth round table on sharing aspirations, where we have an amazing panel of speakers from across South Asia moderated. The session will be moderated by Vakas. That will be followed by a brief QA session, which we hope to be an interactive session, inviting people to come in to share their comments, questions, and for the speakers to also engage with each other. Uh, we'll have Hina Jalani presenting closing remarks for the session. And after that, we have an uh, we have a segment called Expression for which we have a young activists coming together to share uh, their poetry and their music and their expressions uh, on the shared dream that we're here to talk about. So over to Fawzia, who will be reading the Sapan Founding Charter. Fawzia. Uh... Me? Yes. Uh, you want me to read? Uh, yes, I'll just uh, share the screen as well. Okay. So where do you want me to read from? I'm sorry, I wasn't here in this section. Uh, sharing the screen. Okay, okay. Got it. Um, sorry, Priyanka, I didn't get my, uh, I just entered in the meeting right now. Please let me know, what am I supposed to do again? Hi, Priyanka. Okay. So... Okay, Sapan is a coalition of individuals and representatives of various organizations joining hands for a minimum common agenda, reclaiming South Asia. In doing so, we reiterate our commitment to take forward the principles and ideals of peace, justice, democracy, and human rights articulated by visionaries like Dr. Mubashir Hassan, Nikhil Chakravarti, Asma Jahangir, oh. Uh, Nirmala Deshpande, Kuldeep Nair, Rajni Kothari, among others, a visa-free South Asia or confederation of nations with soft borders, a region in which each nation ensures equality, just education, uh, ensures quality education, justice, and freedom of expression and religion to its own citizens, as well as support and solidarity to those of the other nations. We aim to reclaim South Asia, to quote another of our men mentors and visionaries, the late I.A. Rahman. We support the objectives of SARC, the South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation, which is to promote the welfare of the peoples of South Asia and to improve their quality of life, to accelerate economic growth, social progress and cultural development in the region, and to provide all individuals the opportunity to live in dignity and to realize their full potential, to promote and strengthen collective self-reliance among, uh, um, uh, among the countries of South Asia, to contribute to mutual trust, understanding, and appreciation of one another's problems, to promote active collaboration and mutual assistance in the economic, social, cultural, technical and scientific fields, to strengthen cooperation with other developing countries, to strengthen cooperation among themselves in international forums, 
on matters of common interests and to cooperate with international and regional organizations with similar aims and purposes. The South Asia Peace Action Network therefore calls on the governments and peoples of South Asian nations to work towards one, instituting soft borders and visa-free South Asia, or visa on arrival to allow freedom of trade and travel to each other's citizens. Two, ensure human rights and dignity for all citizens, including religious and ethnic minorities, women, children, and other oppressed communities. Three, cooperate in areas related to public health, culture, and legal reform, education, environment, climate change, water issues, disarmament, demilitarization, and denuclearization. This charter is endorsed. Priyanka, I need your help. So you could endorse this charter and you could go to the link and click it on our website. We have some organizations that have endorsed it already. And there we have founder members, they're like, like around, um, I can't uh, read out all the names, they're all big names in their own fields and about 45 or other, more than 50, uh, 54, or oh, sorry, 54 founder members that founded the organization. Endorsements came from, oh, real big names. I can't even name them in this short, short time. There are about 23 people who have endorsed this uh, charter. Thank you so much. <laughs>